Hello again with another video related to forces acting on an object moving uh, on an incline uh, surface. Now I have a skier has just begun descending a 20 degrees slope assuming that the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.1 calculate the acceleration of the skier his final velocity after 8 seconds and how far will the skier travel in the 8 seconds so as a start it will be a really good idea if we do a little sketch so that's the incline this is our angle the 20 degrees this is our skier on the incline surface now what forces we have well we have the weight mg and that one can be gone to mg cosine 20 degrees that's the perpendicular component of the weight this one here the parallel component of the weight which is mg sine theta or 20 degrees still same now i have also the normal force which is perpendicular on the surface and last thing we have is the kinetic friction force which is opposite to our uh, sliding or moving direction now to calculate the acceleration we know that the total forces equal mass times the acceleration from Newton's law now what force is acting on this object or on this skier it's mg sine theta minus the kinetic friction force and all that will equal ma now the mass we we don't have it but it might not be really necessary to know how much is the mass the theta we have the gravity acceleration we have and we need the acceleration the missing one is the force uh, generated by the friction which is something we can calculate by using the total forces on the y-axis which is going to be m a again it will be equal zero because we know there is no motion on the y-axis now what forces we have on the y-axis it will be the normal force minus the, the perpendicular component of the weight that's equal zero from here we can find what is the normal force which is mg cosine 20 degrees okay good now still we don't know what's the mass but still really not necessarily to know how much is the mass of that skier so how are we gonna solve this problem simply we're gonna go back to the first equation and see if we can handle or be able to solve the problem now however we need to remember that the kinetic friction force is equal let's fix this part it's the kinetic friction force equal the, KF, the coefficients multiplied by the normal force all right so what do we have now here uh, using the equation here it's mg sine theta minus the coefficient multiplied by mg cosine theta that's representing the normal force and all that will equal the ma that's all from this equation here now if we look carefully to what we have we can notice that the mass now very clear why it wasn't being given at the start of the question because we can eliminate the mass from the entire equation what we're gonna have now acceleration equal can take the gravity acceleration as a common factor that's going to be sine theta minus the coefficients of the friction cosine theta that's it so just by placing the values uh, of the 9.8 there we go let's do this one 9.8 
sign 20 degrees here is point 1 cosine 20 degrees again and let's work out how much that will give us Great. That will give us the acceleration is 2.4 meter per second square. That will be the acceleration of this skier while it's moving and, and this is uh, on this slope, right? Now this is part one. Uh, let's go to part two, which is asking about the final velocity after Eight seconds. So if the skier started here uh, from the top of the slope to the bottom, we need to find how much is the final velocity. So what we can do here, simply, I can sketch it again to help us understanding the scenario. The skier starting from here, where the V initial equals zero, we need to know how much is the final velocity within 8 seconds okay now we know how much is the acceleration because we just calculated that and we know it is 2.4 meter per second squared now using the kinematics equations uh, based on what is being given uh, we can pick that the final velocity equal initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time. Now this one is 0 plus 2.4 times 8. That will give us the final velocity equal 19.2 it is 19.2 meter per second okay that's how much is the velocity or the final velocity or at the end of the slope the velocity of the scale now let's go one step back and it's asking us how far will the skier travel in this eight seconds okay good so now the question looking for how much is the distance of this slope so simply we can again now we have the time we have the initial velocity the final velocity the acceleration and the final velocity we can calculate the distance again from the kinematics equation this one is zero half 2.4 and the time squared from here we can find distance That give us 76.8 meter. That will be the total distance this uh, guy managed to cover within the 8 second on this slope. Okay. Now, this example showing us that we can mix the kinematics equations with the forces uh, in one question. We, cannot, we don't really separate them all the time because the acceleration will be involved in the scenario, which means we can bring the kinematics equations in the scenario. I hope this video is useful and I will see you again with another one. Thank you.